working for you. CBS 6 News at 6 starts with a breaking news alert. Breaking news out of Charles City County. Brand new video just into our newsroom taken moments after two deputies collided during a chase. I'm Candace Burns in for Stephanie Roshan. And I'm Bill Fitzgerald. We have complete coverage for you tonight. First, our John Burkett is live along with Sandra Jones. And starting with John, what can you tell us, John? Bill, here's what we know so far. About 1.30 this afternoon, a Charles City County captain tried to pull over a vehicle. That vehicle did stop about seven miles down Route 5, uh, John, Taylor Highway, John Tyler Highway from where I'm standing. That car stopped. The captain got out of his car. The car then took off, according to Sheriff Javier Smith. They, can't, they, they, didn't, they, didn't, they then traveled five miles east on Route 5. And that's when Javier Smith was in, joined in on the, uh, or the um, Charles City captain was joined in by another detective on Glebe Lane. Those cars, the two sheriff's deputies' cars, unmarked, collided at Glebe Lane. The captain's car bounced off and hit another motorist as the SUV that was involved in the pursuit kept going. I am told that uh, Captain Jason Crawley and the detective Charles Hargis are in fair condition by sources at VCU Medical Center. They were thrown, uh, they were flown out of here by helicopter. That SUV that was running from these deputies ended up here at the intersection of Courthouse and John Tyler Highway. That is where my colleague Sandra Jones picks up this coverage. And as you can see, as John mentioned here, you can see that the SUV crashed into a guardrail. Now, witnesses uh, tell CBS 6 that the suspect jumped out of the vehicle, ran into the woods, and that's where there was a massive police presence behind Charles City uh, High School. They put the high school on lockdown for a couple of hours, as well as the B&B bank right across the street. It's now been lifted. Authorities are searching the area. The car is here, has not been removed yet, but this portion of Route 5 westbound here at Route 155 is closed at this hour until they continue the investigation. Now we're told that the suspect uh, is wearing dreadlocks as well as his boxer shorts and no t-shirt. So uh, it's going to be maybe a pretty much a long evening for law enforcement. Of course, we will continue to stay on this story and bring you information and details as becomes available. Working for you in Charles City County, Sandra Jones, CBS 6 News. Thank you, Sandra. And John will stay in Charles City and have an update tonight on CBS 6 News at 11. And by the way, we were the first to break this big story on our mobile app. You can download it right now for free to keep up with what's happening.